We've got three things for you today on the download. Politics, politics, and politics. Oh, and a cute dog, too. I mean, come on, we're not complete political junkies. Hey again, Doug Bernard with you for that bundle of goodness we call the download. Now, we're breaking format a little bit today. That's because here in the States, all eyes are focused on a mysterious event called the Iowa Caucus. Now, it was way back in 1895, the fictional character Martin Dooley first observed, politics ain't beanbag. Well, if that's so, there's a whole lot of not beanbag going on out in the Midwest. VOA's Greg Flake is he's there, making sense of it all in Des Moines, Iowa. Okay, Greg, we get there's a vote in Iowa Thursday night. What makes it so special? Well, first of all, this is a caucus, not a primary or a general election where people go to vote. In a caucus, people come together in their communities, and uh, could be in a church or a school or even a coffee shop. They come together, and they sort this thing out. And the Republican side, they could actually just come in and have a vote. And the Democrat side, they come in and... Uh, break into groups supporting each candidate, and then uh, those who aren't considered viable, that is, if they don't have 15 percent of people present, uh, then they uh, break into uh, or, or break up and support other candidates. So, for example, candidate X doesn't have 15 percent, then people from the other candidates who do have more will kind of bargain with those people, try to get them on their side. So, a little bit of horse trading going on there, and that's, that's kind of interesting to watch. But the basic idea is that, you know, with the country being as big as it is, most states, they couldn't do this kind of thing. This is just too big, just too much population. But uh, in this case, because Iowa being just a small state, you have that grassroots uh, kind of democracy that used to exist in this country way back in the first founding. Uh, Greg, give us a sketch, uh, a brief sketch, of those people who will be coming and participating, and, and Iowa in general. What sort of state is it? Well, Iowa, is, you know, most people would like to think of it as a rural state. We tend to think of it as corn growing state. Of course it is, but uh, these days, because of the mechanization of farming, there are very, very few people who actually live on farms. Most people live in towns and cities. And Iowa also has other industries. Uh, towns like Cedar Rapid or Palm Blush have life manufacturing. In Des Moines here, you have a lot of insurance companies. So there is a, a pretty good mixture of uh, people in terms of what you do. And the thing. As to who participates in the caucus, these would mostly be people who are pretty much uh, politically active, people who are very interested in uh, what, their, what their party is going to do in terms of the platform and who is going to nominate. And so they will go out on a frigid uh, January night and spend a couple of hours at a caucus site uh, to participate in the process. Well, have fun out there and uh, bring back some good corn. VOA's Greg Flakus in Des Moines, Iowa. Well, we couldn't just leave you with all that political taste in your mouth. Ugh. So here's a bit of sweet to counter the tart. And to southeast Queensland in Australia we go. The mountain perch uh, there that uh, David Gibson and his dog Diff had hoped to see the New Year's sunrise from. Until Diff took a tumble in bad weather and both became stranded on the mountainside. Now Gibson was helicoptered off, but Diff had remained because of bad conditions. Several rescue attempts followed. Finally, Diff the Mastiff was trussed up and brought aboard a helicopter. All now happiness at his return, until we expect park authorities have a little chat with Mr. Gibson, reminding him that dogs are banned from the park. Happy New Year, Diff! Oh, no snossages for you. Well, that your download treat for today. Make sure to join us later Friday for all the results from Iowa, and we'll see you then.